Come on, people, get out of your seat and rock this evening. Rock and give Jesus glory. Come, keep me true, Lord Jesus, keep me true. Yes, keep me true, Lord Jesus, keep. Me true. Yes.
consider those that are standing. Alright, so we want to make sure we go through the program as, as best as we can. Can we give God a praise? Can we give God a praise? Praise God. Hallelujah. on the program, Heaven's Jubilee. Thank you. 
we're now going to have the first lesson from Psalm 90, verse 1 to 12. It will be read by grandchildren Shaquille Young, Shaquille James, Shaquille Hunter, and Shaquille Ferguson. She's a very lively person. So this funeral, or this Thanksgiving service, let me call it that, will be a lively Thanksgiving service. So um, even if the bones not feel so good, just wrap them the same way, right? Amen? Amen. 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 We're going to rejoice in the Lord for the life that he has given um, our sister, for the life that we have all shared in and shared with. So we are not going to mourn, as the Bible says, like those who not have hope. We have hope that someday in glory, we we'll see her again, and we will see her rejoicing and dancing and singing and saying, to God be the glory. Amen? Amen. Sing praises unto God, sing praises. Sing praises unto God, sing praises. The People's National Party, followed by Arlene Webb, sister, and then Roy Reed, cousin. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This morning, I want to greet you on behalf of the People's National Party and more so our current leader, Mark Golden. It was just this morning when Mr. Golden called to say, bring greetings on my behalf. He reminded me of one thing. He said, Sir Patmer, for too often, we always go to funeral and bring great greetings. 
But are we as a party looking out for our people before that? And for somebody like Rona who have served the People's National Party so well, did as a party, we, did we take the time out to check on her well-being, see how she was doing maybe even last year or the year before. And he asked me to say, say Mr. Patmore, if you are going to be new and different, these are the things that we want to take into consideration. I hear that you have been doing well during the, the funeral arrangement and everything. You hear about the, 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 that PNP night that we have in Larimers. The whole world know about it. But he said, Mr. Patmore, was that good enough for somebody like Rona who served so well? So, family, on behalf of the People's National Party, I want to say thank you for letting Rona to us for so many years. I don't think when Rona started to run up and down in politics, she even reached the age for voting. And if you know Rona well, you will know that she loves her God, she loves her family, and third is the People's National Party. She takes that seriously. So from now on, I will be one of the leaders for this constituency. And I want to assure you that the, the way Rona was treated most of the time, we're going to make sure that those, that those type of treatment don't happen to the people that serve us with. And we, we're going to look out and make sure that we know when they're sick. Because even as one of the leaders of this constituency, I never know that Rona was sick until she maybe couldn't even speak to me. I never hear it. You know, but it is what it is. So we want to make sure that from now on we get those things right. And that's one of the one of the things that touched me when, was when I was told that on the 26th of February of this year. On election day, Rona, her hands could not move, her feet, but her mouth was able to tell her, say, no, can't go vote. And on that day, they have to take Rona, and she wouldn't, and no matter how her daughter, daughter tell her, try to tell her that you were too sick to go down there, she wouldn't have none of it. And she had to go and vote, and that's commitment. Um, so from now on, comrades, friends and family, you're going to see a different approach from the People's National Party in this country. So may God bless you.
believe in everybody. Can somebody just lift your hand and give God a praise in the house? Indeed, he's worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down, his name is worthy to be praised. And he said in everything, we must give thanks. Praise be to God. You know, Rona, me and Rona grow together as brother and sister. She was a dear, loving cousin to me. You know, it's a really mixed bit of feeling in my mouth this evening. But you know, God said in the midst of life, there is death. So I'm here this evening to remind somebody about that home. That coming home someday. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Well, I'm kind of homesick for a country, oh God, to which I've never
Yeah. <laughs> 
for you. Our second lesson comes to us this morning from 1 Corinthians 15, verse 50 to 58. And it will be read by Shani Lindsay, family friend. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 50 to 58. And after that, we have a selection from the Lorimer's Assembly of God, Sunday School, Parliament. and we will be changed for the perishable must not clothe itself with imperishable and the mortal with immortality when the perishable has been clothed with imperishable and the mortal with immortality then the saying that is written will come true death has been swallowed up in victory we are all dead where all that is your victory? Where all that is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you away. Give yourself fully to the work of the Lord because you know that you that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Amen. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just want to share a message from on behalf of my son to, to her. Until we meet again, those special memories of you will always be, bring a smile. If only I could have you back for just a little time, then we could sit and talk again, just like we used to do. You always meant so very much and always will too. The first, the fact that you, that you are not, you're not, Longer here, here will always cause me pain, but you're forever in my heart until we meet you again. So this good.
Amen. I heard up there the streets are made of gold. That's why the songwriter says, My father is a millionaire. I'm stepping on my door. And there is a place there for people like Rona. Kind, jovial, everything that you can think of that is good. It was our dear sister. And she is on the streets of gold doing what she does best. Amen? amen. If you believe it, say amen. 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 We're going to move on with a remembrance from Joan Webb Taylor. Joan Webb Taylor. about it right and we um we know each other from 1975 i met her 1975 right she was, i don't we got to that part okay and um she used to steal away with me to go down to all marks ground down by war river and she didn't care what her mother did to her right she got to go with me to coldville Right? And she was always there for me. Right? And I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. And I'm, sad, and I'm saddened by her. Right? Because, um, I mean, she was a mother. She was a sister. She was an aunt. She was an aunt. She was a friend. You understand? I mean, we could laugh, we could talk, we could talk forever. We could talk about anything, right? When I'm down, she's there for me. When she's up, I'm there for her. She, I mean, we discuss everything, right? And um, I think. always there for me. When things are done for her, I will always be there for her. And you know, sometimes um, she would cry and I would listen. I would cry and she would listen. Listen, Romina, I wish you were here. I wish you were here that I could about yours and whatever we say no one hears about it 
right? So many things to say, it's going to take so long. I remember sometimes when I'm at home, she would say, Juan, go to the market, go to Paul, the bag is down there for you. And you know, that's how we moved. You understand? And next time again, I said, Juan, you know, say, I don't feel good. And I, and I would say, I'm coming. And she said, No, no, but I come, man, that's all right. You understand? And um, the other day, about two years now, I was sick. And I was, um, so I was mean, really sick. And she was there. She, 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 she and my brother Clive who came up. And you know, she combed my hair. She combed my hair. And when she combed my hair, she said, Jesus and Joanne, you look like a brighter. And I said to her, um, it's because I saw you, young Clive. You understand? And she always um, encouraging me, and we always talk about God. And you know that she's a great singer, she's a great preacher. You understand? Did you know that she loved poetry? You mean like Louis Bennett poetry and things like No Little Twang, Guan Gyal, your favorite Tegere? She used to say all those little things. She used to pray, she used to preach. You understand? She was jovial. No matter how you're down, you just as you look, as you look at her, she start to laugh. You understand? And I, you have never been a dull moment with her. You understand? And uh, no matter how you're down, she's there, right? to Clive. I think he's a little nervous. Uh, it's, it, it is, um, it's a sudden to part ways with our beloved cousin, mother, sisters, brother, friends, and She was a beacon of light to everyone. She comes across when mom died back in 84. We went to live with my aunt Ruth and the roads are fine and stayed there for four years in 1988. We migrate. There, there wasn't a dull moment with her, but it did arrive, wouldn't last. Praise the Lord. Um, read it. Uh, it's a sudden part ways with our beloved cousin, mother, sister, brother, friends, and comrades. She was a beacon of light to everyone. She came across when my mother died, like in '84, when I went to live with my aunt, my cousins. We stayed there for about four years, and then we migrated. There wasn't a dull moment with her, but if it did, it didn't arise, would last. 
We talk a lot, almost every day. Every day we talk, usually. See, I'm here her best cousins. <laughs> so I said, I don't know. <laughs> um, See what um, she was a preacher, a teacher, poetry, and also she was a comedian. And um, she said a lot of stuff. You make you laugh, you get joyous. Doesn't matter where, what condition you are in. It's true. No? And, and it's very true. You understand? It's very true. And you know what? Um, we, we talk a lot about the Bible, and um, I don't know where she get the verses, but. <laughs> Things that she said that it seemed like it printed into her heart. You know, she knew the Bible back and forth. You know? And she was a good, good, very mother. You now she had five, five children and she talked very highly about them. You know? And wish them all the best in life. And uh, while she was living with Steve, uh, she told me that, listen, um, my life is not going the right way and I need to go serve the Lord and said I'm going to get married you know I said it's a, it's a good thing because I don't know when I'm going to be like this you know and I take my hat off to her as a lucky thing she did you know? and she went back to church and it's a blessed way to did she did um, give her life back to the Lord and uh, God is good Amen Won't it be a time when we get over yonder? Won't it be a time when we get over yonder? Won't it be a time when we get
Good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be the house of the Lord today. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Thank God for Rona, the life that she lived. She lived a pleasing life Amen. that impacts each and every one of us. Amen. And that's the reason why if it's rain or shine, we're going to be here. That's right. Eology for the late Rona Webb Griffiths. I'm not going to say Jasset. Reason being, once I call her Jasset and she nearly tear my head off, <laughs> she did not like that name for reasons I don't know. But she says, do not call me that name again. My name is Rona Webb White. <laughs> It is never easy to say goodbye to someone like Rona, who has been a part of our lives throughout the years. Now that she's gone, there's a hole where she used to be. That is what we are all feeling today, the hole that Rona has left in our hearts. We know her as Mommy, Rona, Sister Rona, Auntie Rona, Comrade Rona, <laughs> Mrs. Griffith, and even Rona Webb, Rona Webb White. Rona was born in the parish of Trelawney to Mr. Norman Webb and Miss Ruth Webb. She was born as a twin. Yes, Rona was a twin. She is the third of her eight siblings, Eileen, Alex, Pam, Ian, Jesse, Joan, Michael, and you, Roy. Rona went to Low River Primary School, where she attended up to grade six. Rona would often tell us she would have to take a short cut if she's late, because Mr. Brown would be out there meeting all the latecomers on the road with his belt. And I think the belt name was Dalton, if I'm wrong. Dr. Lucas. Okay. She would also tell us that she would turn on the pipe when she gets to school and put her eyes, her head on the pipe so that the water would come in her eyes as if she is crying because she was tired of getting the lip in her hand middle and her skin is as thick as rubber so she wouldn't cry because she's not feeling it. So she has to turn on the pipe to get that water, the eye water, the irritation eye water coming out. She said she sometimes sells, helps to sell fritters because she loves fritters. So she helps to sell fritters at the school gate. And she has to get hers. Not one, not two, because while she's selling, she's eating. <laughs> Rona produces five children, Nisha, Howie, Deidre, Secret I know, Chapman, and she was married twice. Uh, her first husband, Donovan, which, is, which preceded her. Rona was a dedicated member of the Lord's Assembly of God. If you call on Rona to do anything for the church, Rona is there. Yes. But remember, she's not alone. Because she's going to pull everybody to come to church, to clean church. She starts at the corner of Bantle Lane. Those who know Bantle Lane, that's the deep corner to come around. She will start there calling, Sally! Christine! When we get up on the bed morning, we're too lazy. It's 5 30 to 6 o'clock in the morning, that's how the Rona be. And then she said, Sally, walk up the door and make my cup of tea, yeah? When we're lucky. She will make tea, she will give Christine tea, she will give myself tea. Remember, it's my house, and I have to ask Rona for a cup of tea too. <laughs> Rona will make the tea, and then she start acing up. Christine, I tell you, we're not man. We have, we have church tea, now we have to dump, come here, funeral to go. Sometimes the whole thing around the point, Rona. Gentleman. Um, we're both there, both there. 
I'm going to Falmouth area. She said, we're going to Falmouth. I said, where are you going? Why are you going to Falmouth, Rona? Why? I said, I heard some parts from the board. <laughs> Christians and we're peacemakers. 
Right? But sometimes it's kind of done that and then you have to call upon somebody to do something. Amen. And you know two persons in my life that anybody trouble me, anybody at all, they must take out their weave, they must take out their shoes, they must pull with people. And then I ask how many of them and the one of the sun is trouble you. And I will fight and then I'll go out spend. I will get a fight for that was Rona. I want to be having me now call her name. Right? But Rona was my friend. Rona, four weeks ago, I came to Jamaica um, to my mom's birthday. And um, Rona had asked me to get some stuff for her. And long story short, because I respect what the chairman said about timing. But I went and looked for her. I went and looked for Rona. Rona. No, I took my dad to look for Rona. And when my dad came back from church, from the visiting room, because you know there's only one, one um, visitor each time. My dad looked at me and said to me, um, no, Junior, no, you know, um, Rona is low. She's very, very low. And to be honest, you know, it makes sense to go inside because you won't even have a conversation with her because she's low. I said, Daddy, the company is going to look for Rona and I'm going to see her. When I went inside, Rona took out the mask of her face and we chatted for over 20 minutes. Rona tell me what she had for lunch. What you have for dinner? And I'm saying, but one, then you just say, we're going to come in and say hello. But we had a full conversation. She even told me what I should bring back for her. And that was it Sunday. The Wednesday, I went and looked for Rona. And the same thing happened. She took off the mask off her face. We laughed, we talked. She told me what you've been And the last thing I said to Rona was, you know something? I want you to get better soon because I know you love, you love dancing at night night and the next night night I want to be there dancing with you. Who knew? Who knew? And I left Jamaica the Thursday morning and when I went to London, the first news before I even get my bag was that Rona passed away. I fainted. I fell on the ground. I could not believe that my friend, my friend passed. And what I want to say today is a couple of things. One, there are people you know there are people who are important to you, but you're not important to them. That's right. But may I tell you say, me no. Serona was important to me. And I know I was important to her. And that will keep me going. Right? And um the counselor said something this afternoon, and it's the last thing I'm going to say. He said that, you know, he never said that this, but not it's not my own words. The best Reunion we have a funeral. The best reunion is funeral. Right? Why we, when the person is alive, we cannot have the same love, the same joy, the same want to get up and get up and get up. But get to the funeral, the whole of the day, and a laugh, and a talk. No, we have to look better. As Tom Ray said, we have to look better. So, you know something? Everything has a starting point. And I want us to start. Let's look at our life. Right? Be our brother's keeper. You know, we can talk, more like this, make the talk. But let's act. Right? Let's act. You know, no one did. You know, sometimes we say, Miss Pretty, if you call somebody, call them. It may be the last time you've called them. It may be the last time you've spoken to them. Right? Remember, I know, tomorrow is not promised. Because yesterday was, to, was tomorrow. So every day tomorrow, so tomorrow never come. So I'll do all the check such and such tomorrow, and people look so this also tomorrow. It never happened. Do it now. Right? So, I want us to always, you know, run and live the life of love. Right? Every time we come to Jamaica, me and she be talking, so Junior, I me love you, you know. I want if you know me love you. Me don't know all of my mother want to tell me so much time how they love me. Nobody is, not even my wife did not tell me that. Right? <laughs> Rona, she wasn't afraid to tell me. Right? And the last thing I'm going to say is please don't let Rona's legacy be forgotten. Rona was a church person. She yeah. loved competition. Yeah. When them have, um, I think it's called gathering and those kind of things. You know, she, she'll do anything to for for, for make her or her team win. So please, all the good things I've heard about her, I don't. I would not like in two years time if somebody say Rona and they say I would not name so again. No, keep her legacy. Let's do things to remember her. She was love. God is love. Thank you. Yeah. And let the church say, Amen. Amen. You promise to do it? Amen. Don't deny the church. You know. promise to do it? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We are getting.
are getting closer to the end of this service. At this time, the Lawyer's Assembly of God Church Choir will minister in song, and then the next voice you will hear is our host pastor, Bishop G.A. Charlton. May welcome the Lorimer's Choir. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, somebody. We're still in church, we lift your hands and give you praise. I can't hear you, man.
Bishop Marcus Knight. Could you put your hand together for him? Along with my sister-in-law, Sister Browns. Put your hand together for her. When we come to fast, we will miss everybody, we will miss any member from our church. She's always here with us. We don't get nothing for her. You know, I'm going to go and she can see us. Pastor, sister, boys. Oh, that's right. Pastor, boys. Pastor, boys. Pastor, boys. So where are his wife? Why is with us? Put your hand together on your Wow. What a day this has been with us. I don't say much because we were here. Wednesday night was community night. And so whatever you did want to say, that, that was Wednesday night. You could come and eat and say what you would like to say. So, we don't say much of this church because we have already said what we want to say last time with the night. But again, my heart really raised to see everyone. I want to thank God for technology. Right now in England, they're watching us straight. They're watching us in the US straight. So picture is good. <laughs> and your wig, and your wig. <laughs> oh, we are so grateful for everyone. So many we have here from the United States. I guess to understand. Now, this is about 12 from the um, United States and from England are here with us today. I would like you to put your hand together for them. The great sacrifice of their name to be here, especially my son. He was here just left. Why did my wee? Just over a wee. And he did me something low. And it wasn't good to ever talk it that in the church and the children in England listening to me. You want to hear? Yes. What did you do? My daughter said to me she's going to a man to do her ear. That's why I'm going to do Yes. So, okay. Thursday. So, you know, she loves driving. I'm on five o'clock. Um, before that, we heard the phone ring. How did you go? I jumped, oh God, what is up to them? The young lady said to me that she's going to Manuel. She was coming from Montego Bay. And then he said, you know who is here? Junior. No, 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 I could not believe it because she knew about a week before. She didn't tell me nothing. Mm. And you see that little answer to one over there? He knew as well, and he didn't tell me anything. And those in England know. And my wife just uh, talked with one just a few hours before. They didn't say nothing. 
And uh, I get to understand all the secret. They said, we don't want mommy to know we're coming, I'm coming. Because if she really know that I'm coming, she's going to turn it the post upside down. She's going to sleep. <laughs> I'll see this when you are clean. So we keep it a big secret because we don't know. We don't want her to over work. And so we are grateful for Julia's sacrifice and I'll see you for all the sacrifice those of you are made to come and say bye to Rona. Rona. To Rona. Rona's my girl. A girl. Rona was ready. I don't know if any of you ready, but I know she was. She said, I want such and such a want to cook the food from the federal. And then she said, I want such and such a want to lead the some service. And she said, May I beg you me, I beg you to preach for me. And she tell me where to preach from. So I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely sure. This young lady was ready. A wonderful girl. Oh, she. She was to all of us. We got to miss our dearly. And I am going to ask you something. If you feel to cry, cry. If you want to ball, ball. Yes. Don't want it back. Yes. You get 30 days to cry. The Bible talk about 30 days of mourning. So you still have a few days left. <laughs> for you to mourn for Sister Rona. I want to share with you a few minutes. Because she, she said that I want you to speak from the book of Isaiah. And I say, I'm, I'm going to try. Very difficult for me. I don't really cry a lot. But I cry. When I get to understand that she was not with us. I went there and I rubbed her ear, I rubbed her ear. She was looking at me and I just rubbed her ears, trying to say something, but she couldn't because her mouth was covered. And I prayed for her. And then a few hours after, I got to understand she was gone. So I want to share a few verse with you today. And I want when you leave here, you can tell me that I'm a good message. <laughs> because it's for all of us. And you take it from the book of Isaiah. Just a few verses. 38. It said these words. In those days, as a car was sick unto death, and Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Sit thine house. And it was not a long message. It was a long it was short and to the point. Yeah. And I want when you leave here going back to the state, wherever you're going to be, don't forget this. Set your house in order. Why? Because you're going to die. Is there anybody here this afternoon that is not going to die? You're going to. 
of thy city for Rona. She set our house in order. She knew exactly that she didn't have much time with us. And she set our house in order. I don't want to go through all of this. But if you read a few verses, you'll find that Ezekiah was full of boy and he was sick. He tried all the doctors and he wasn't getting better but worse. Just like Rona. Rona started spalling. She left from spalling to public hospital. She left from public hospital to Uwe. She left from Uwe to Montego Bay. And she left from Montego Bay back to spalling back to Mandeville. They couldn't help her. They couldn't help her. And she is a she's a girl you have to love. She she said the doctor, doctor, uh, doctor, you put on the bed today. A ruin of me, you know, a ruin of a ruin of me. Put on the bed today, doctor. Doctor said, so we're trying to find a vein and we can't find no vein. He said, inject me on my head then, sir. <laughs> True. <laughs> that was Rona. She was in at one ward. And the, the nurse, they love her so much. True. That they move her to the ward that she was in before. We said we don't want no nurse to look after you with us. That was wrong. No. But our house was set in order. And I want to say to those of you that are here inside and outside, you need to set your house in order. It may be not today or tomorrow, but to death is a sure thing. If you continue to read, you'll find out when he got the word from the prophet. The Bible said he turned his face to the wall. And he began to cry. He began to cry. He said, God, remember, remember, remember how I walked before you. How, how I behaved myself and walked before you. And the Bible said, as he began to cry, he didn't want anybody to talk to him. He turned his face to, what, to the wall and began to cry. And the Bible said, just before the prophet come out of the house, God said, go back and say to the Hezekiah, I, I have heard his prayer. I have heard his prayer, I have seen his tears, and I am going to give him one, 15 more years. I'm saying to you this, this afternoon, God does not want to give you 15 years. God wants to give you eternal life. But you got, you got to fix your house in order. And I believe many of you that are here this afternoon, your house is not in order. I read a story right about a man by the name of Moses. Moses, uh, you know he was a great leader. And the, he killed a man. And he was on the run. And he went to a, a place called Midian. And there he met a, a, a man. And the man just showed. And the man asked seven girls. And never, and ne uh, not one of them no married. Ooh. So, Moses fell in love with one of the girls and married to this girl. And listen, have two boys, one named Gershon. Gershon mean I am a stranger in a strange land. The next one named Eliezer. 
He said, I'm going to kiss this one name, Eliza, because God is my help. Those of you here, do you know that God is your help? Yes. Give me a wave if you know that. God is my help. And for 40 years, he worked with his father-in-law, mining sheep for 40 years. He went to Howard, and God spoke to him from Mount Sinai that he was going to send him to Egypt to lead the children of Israel back to the promised land. He went to his father-in-law. He said, God, call me, and I have to go. What he did, he put his wife on a donkey. He put his two sons and one donkey each and himself. And on his way, on his way, to Egypt, Moses takes him and another pelican. <laughs> the other said, Moses took him and another pelican. He was he was sick, Pastor. I mean, real sick unto death. His two hands could not move. His feet could not move. And when they found out, what was the problem? The problem is Moses' house was not in order. Because his two sons did not circumcise. And they should circumcise from their head. And so all he was doing, he was taking care of his father-in-law business. And at the same time, his house was not in order. It was so bad. That his wife have to do the circles. This is what she do. She take a stone. Can you imagine? He take a stone, a sharp stone. Oh my God, I can't see. He take a sharp stone and do the circles. Oh, he did the first one. And his hand was full of blood. But Moses couldn't do anything. Because God said, I'm going to kill you. And God knew what he said. Because Moses' house was not in heart. And God said, you can't want to lead people when your house is not in heart. I'm talking to some of you this house. Your house is not in order. Your children is out of order. That's why we have such a problem in our nation. Because the house of many is not in heart. The second child, the blood was all over her hand. And you know what she do? She took the skin that she circumcised the boy and put it right in front of Moses. He said, you're a bloody husband. He said, you're a bloody He said, that should, that should be your duty. And you didn't do it. Your house was not in order, yet you want to leave people. He said, you got to understand that God wants your house to be in order. And when that happened, Moses get better after the circumcision. Why? Because his house was not in order. But they could not journey with him to Egypt. And they have to go back. Moses' house was not in order. Please, this afternoon, church. I want you. I don't want you to fix it if you want to fix it. All right. I want you to examine yourself this morning. Re examine yourself whether your heart's in order or not. Some of us, the women, have to do everything. The man is so busy. Some of you are so busy that you can't come to prayer meeting. When you're so tired, you can't come to Bible study. You are so tired. Looking after what? Looking after material things. And at that time, your house is not enough. I'm calling you this afternoon that before you leave here, examine yourself to find if your house is in order. 
I want to say that also I need your life. I need your life. Are you, are you saved? Let me give you a story. I heard this story about a palace. His wife was a member of a certain church, and I call it no name. During the service, the husband sits at the back because all he did was to drive the wife to church. But he, he wasn't saved, called him a big shop. Have him big house and him big car and a whole heap of money in the bank. Why come for them? And pastor, in the service, God was moving on the pastor. He pointed his finger. He said, sir, God is calling you to send your house in honor. Yeah. The man sit down did the move like some of you today. He said the second time, he said, sir, God is calling you. Call and send your house in honor. Hey. Yes. Didn't come. As the service was this place, the wife came to the pastor right at the door. Said, Pastor, you embarrassed my husband. <laughs> oh, I think somebody will be in that category to have a embarrassing. He said, You embarrassed my husband. For oh, my husband is alright. <laughs> Three days after, the wife called the pastor and said, Pastor, my husband took sick, you know. I'm your big, you come pray for him. The pastor said, He's alright. No, he's alright. <laughs> Few days after, she called again. He said, Pastor, my husband is in hospital. Is that right? And they say, You don't look good. Is that you look right? like our dead. Then right? they will pray for me as bad. The pastor said, Is that right? Is that right? Is that right? He said, Why you say that? He said, You remember, few days ago, when he was in church. And He said, God show me that somebody is going to meet an accident. He was there. And I didn't know after that what happened. 
just after we left. I don't know if it was the Monday or Tuesday. Uh, right in this place where we was. The same night. The same night after we left. The same night. At the same place. What did I like, man? Shower and night. The young man I get to understand is in the hospital. When I call you, you didn't come. Set your house in order. God said, I'm going to give you 15 years more. God can extend your life. I said, God can extend your life and give you eternal life. If you would realize now is the time to set your house in order. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to ask you, those of you that are here today, ladies and gentlemen, the Bible said, the king, prophet to the king, set your house in order, for you shall die. Every head bow, high clothes, please. Father, we want to thank you for this time. My servant Daniel, how he read the writing on the wall, he said, Lord, weighed in the balance and found the water. God, I ought to be to speak to your people here today. You are treasure. You are very special. And they came here to say goodbye to this precious girl. And God, I deliver the word. I do my best. And I ask that you to speak to them. They may not remember anything much, but let them remember what the prophet said to the king. Set a house in order. Speak to someone, the young girl, the young man, the young lady, whoever that person may be, and is not saved. God help my one to raise their hand and say, please pray for me. I'm not saying my house, my spiritual house, is not in order. With your eyes closed, we're going to ask you this morning, this afternoon, if you're here and you never give your life to the Lord, would you be honest? Say, please pray for me, I'm not saying. Could you just raise that hand? Could you just raise that hand? Yeah, please, I want some more hand to raise on your side. Set your house in honor. Set your house! Let's raise the house still. We are going to pray for the family. But before we pray for the family, we are going to ask Bishop Knight to go pray for these who raise their hand. Set thy house in honor. Why? You shall shut it down.
Say that you forget the thing that was Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and everything else will lock into the right place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Spirit of the living God. You sit high, you look low, you know the heart of your children today. I ask you now, Lord, to touch those that are not saved. I pray for restoration and deliverance. I pray, God, that you will forgive them of their sins. Wash them thoroughly in your blood. I pray today, God Almighty, that you will sanctify them. Help them, Lord God, that they will not die and go to a devil's hell. But as they give their life to you, Lord, write their names in the last book of life. Today, in the name of Jesus Christ, I place them into your care. I place them into your hand, Holy Ghost. Jesus. Hallelujah. Just put your hands together for the word. Such a powerful word. A timely word for the hour. A word came from the throne of God to his servant, Bishop Charlton. At this time, I'm going to ask the bereaved family to remain seated and I'm going to ask the rest of the congregation to stand. Praise God. There are so many things said about Rona. And I know if we have time, others will say a lot more. But we have to use time wisely. Amen. Because there's another segment to the service. And that is to lay her body to rest. It's as was said by the moderator, we are here to celebrate her life. You have heard about her, the type of person she was, the loving person she was. I say to the family member, as you mourn her lost, remember she has lived a life. She has left a legacy. And so all you have to do, keep that camaraderie within in the family. Remember the lively person she was. She wasn't a dead person. Amen. You come around her, you don't have to know her for a long time for you to love this person. She was that type of person. And as you stand together as a family, I want to have you to understand that united you stand, but divided you will fall. And this is a moment for the family to stand together, to stand together. For the children to stand together, grandchildren also, bow your heads as I pray. Loving God, everlasting Father. I place the bereaved family before you this afternoon. I give them to you. You know their heart, what they are going through right now. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will bind them closer together. Father, in the name of Jesus, they need you now even more than ever, Father. As they go through this period of mourning, Father, it will not stop today, neither tomorrow. It will continue because the remembrance of their lovely family member, Almighty God, will remain in the heart. But 
Lord, we know you promise in your word you will comfort those that mourn. We ask now, God, to stretch forth your hands from heaven. Lay it upon each and every one of them today. Almighty God, we pray, God, that the love will continue, that the peace will continue. We come against Almighty God, the Spirit, hallelujah, that the enemy want to set to dismantle his family. We pray that this family will grow from strength to strength. I pray for those that live here and those that live in abroad. Oh God, we pray, Holy Spirit, be with them. Guide, protect, shield from every harm and danger. We come against the plans of the adversary. And as we place them into your hand, we say, Holy Spirit, take control. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. and amen. amen.
right guys, we are moving now. There's a bit of traffic jam. Traffic jam. I
Zoom. all of my life um, nicer than her you couldn't find and I want to say to all the children just know that the memories will live on and that somewhere within the memories as you think about your mother and your grandmother um, you will smile because that's what you always do um, I know I through the political re uh, arena too always on the campaign trail and she will be missed but you know, God loves her best and he decided that she wouldn't suffer anymore. He would take her home. And we just have to be comforted with that fact. May the memories cherish it. May you cherish the memories that you had with her. No good like you. God bless you. Um with a black card then is Children, yes, when I said something to the very family, 
for that one. Why are you saying? Some pieces, some pieces, some pieces. No, I don't know. Maybe Lord, and give them comfort when they when when they are discouraged and when they feel that their mother should be there and she's when May the Lord strengthen them and guide them and direct them and sustain them with His grace and give them courage to go on. Um, I want to say condolences to Rona family. Rona was a good girl. She was a very jovial a nice girl. I know Rona for years and I know that Larmas is not going to be the same without Rona. You know, may her soul rest in peace and God bless our children and will keep them. Somebody else said big up auntie. Hmm? Somebody else said big up auntie. Here, here to them. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Stand by to know one day to we will find you going this way. We thank you again. We ask you to bless the gathering. <coughs> ah, it's please Almighty God. Because we have to do everything short. Because we don't know it. Thank you, Madam. And please Almighty God to take out of this world our deceased brother and sister. We commit the body to the earth. Earth to earth. Up, brothers and up. Watch out there, watch out there. Up 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 there. Oh, 
Come on, come the trumpet has sounded my countrymen's all Away from the slumber and answer the call The torch has been lighted, the Lord is at hand Who dies in the fight for his own native land Land of my mortal flesh to be Loyal and faithful truth to thee Rest in peace, comrade Rena Rest in peace for a woman. Sleep and take your rest. With all that I have, I want to say to friends, we love you, but Jesus loves you best. Good night, good night, good night. That we have to win so Trilani this time around. So you know, we're going to have to see the victory. No, man, it's not preparing, man. It's not preparing. We well, lost her to the Biri family. And huh? camera. What is it? The last word to the Biri family and camera. Oh. To Nisha and the rest of family, keep art. Rona is in a better place. We all miss her. And nobody can take Rona place. But want to know for just unite one with another. Keep the peace like Rona. God bless you now. All right, guys, there you have it. Again, I must say thanks for watching and thanks for tolerating. Tolerating the, um, the poor reception of the internet. But, but through it all, we stuck together. And I was happy that I was able to it's not a good feeling to know that the um, reception is poor. Yeah, man, that one, they, they, they really 
Because they show up. I would. I don't show professionalism, but as I mentioned earlier, that we have tried both networks. And Digital was the best one. Yes, that one. And that was the best reception we could have done in the no, inside me, of the right church. Right. Based on the location, so it was really difficult, which it really annoys me. But then again, I have no control. It was circumstances and my control. So, we are grateful and thankful that you are stuck with us. Despite of the challenges, normally, I would have roamed through the church and you would have seen more persons but because of the poor reception again I have to just take the spot that the signal was coming through so I was kind of stable for the most part but again I say thank you for watching and this is the Sherlock Robinson YouTube channel and location in Larimer's Trelawney and it was really a joy and privilege of mine to really bring to you this funeral service I would say Thanksgiving service for Miss Rona to bring it live to you in your space right now you you the you the i eat that so you And I want to do the to big up Lassanic Reed. Yeah, man, he's my good friend. I was trying to cover for him today. Yeah? So big up Lassanic YouTube channel. Both near and far. And I jump past the camera past Yes, man. And there's so much mud to come through, people. Holy for mud. Yeah, man. Yeah, committed to the task, you know? Yeah. It's like you some broad, you know? Before we close up.
Je ne sais pas si je la case. Traffic.
She was always happy, jovial, pleasant. You will never be sad when you are around um, Rona. May God bless her soul. And what makes me happy is when I heard that she she knew she was going. She told Pastor, you know, what she need for her funeral. And she was telling them her funeral is going to be big. And my goodness. Everybody come to for Rona. Come Red Rona. I tell you, may your soul rest in peace and light perpetually shine on you. God bless you. All right, guys, thank you for watching. This is the Sherlock Holmes YouTube channel. Tune in out here. The entrance of Patasi Laramat. So take care. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Until then, as I continue to bring to you events like these, interviews, community development, and such other events, take care of yourself, wish for you and your family blessing, prosperity, and good success. Sure, I'm going to see you for the final time in Larimans. Sure, honey. I'll get it. I'm out.